If you're a cruise enthusiast like me, you'll probably know that there are certain things that can make a cruise amazing. Unfortunately for one of the biggest cruise lines in the world, MSC Cruises, they seem to be lacking in three areas. And it's so frustrating because some things about MSC Cruises are so good. Now let's take a look at how MSC Cruises could make these three small changes to potentially make them one of the best cruise lines in the world. So grab your life vests and let's set sail into today's video. Before we delve into the three primary concerns, let's first spotlight some of the positive aspects about MSC Cruises. First up are the ships themselves. They are really good, well designed, well laid out, beautifully decorated, and just, well, great. We really have no issues with MSC sh cruise ships at all. This goes for the cabins as well. They are great, really well designed, comfortable, and again, some of the best out there. The actual hard product just works. This makes their shortcomings all the more disappointing, as rectifying these issues could really be a relatively swift process and make the cruise line so much better. Secondly is the value for money. MSC Cruises offers some fantastic prices with great value for money. Their cruises are usually considerably cheaper than say other big cruise lines such as Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Line and they offer much cheaper things like drinks packages. We've paid one third the cost of say an identical Royal Caribbean cruise in the past. But only because you're paying a cheap cruise point doesn't mean that these three things can't be fixed. I genuinely would rather pay just a little bit more to have them fixed. Judging by the reviews online, I think a lot of people would agree with me. So there you have it. There's a few of the good points. There are more. Let us know in the comment section below if you've sailed with MSC Cruises and what your experience was. We'd love to hear from you. But before we talk about the first of the things that they could possibly fix, stay tuned because we are going to save the biggest problem until last. And it's a big one. So first on the list is customer service. Strangely, customer service has been a persistent issue on each of the five or so MSC cruises we have personally taken. In this department, MSC consistently falls short. Other cruise lines excel in this area, leaving us to wonder why MSC cruises struggle so profoundly. The crew on the guest services desk have been called rude, abrasive and are just not interested at all. A lot of the complaints online agree with this and say how bad it is. Problems just never seem to be resolved. We have been given excuses and told to see someone else. No one ever takes ownership of problems or tries to resolve any issues. Even before you cruise, the call centre reps often have no idea what they can do and can't do. And you're told three different things from three different people. We've seen so many reviews saying, the same thing. It's very frustrating to say the least. If you've checked out our video about the worst cruise lines according to the internet you'll see the many complaints about the customer so we're not going to talk about them that much here. We don't even blame the crew. The crew in general don't seem to have the same level of customer service training as the other big cruise lines. Many of them just don't seem to care at all. There seems to be no consequences for treating passengers badly. It seems to be just something MSC cruises do by default. And it's just not good. In a market now with lots of cruise companies, lots of choices and lots of competition, they really need to do better. And we want them to do better as there is just so much potential there. Of course, it's worth acknowledging that not every crew member exemplifies this behaviour. We've encountered some of the most lovely and exceptional crew members on board MSC cruise ships. However, it's apparent based on multiple experiences and so many reviews that a higher proportion of crew members on MSC cruises lack adequate training or the appropriate attitude for their roles. And it really saddens us because it is such a difficult job. So if you're going to do it, you might as well do it well. Quality service is the backbone of any cruise and MSC cruises could take their service game to the next level. Friendly and attentive crew members can truly elevate the cruise experience, making passengers feel like royalty from the moment they step on board till they leave the ship. Investing in comprehensive training programs that emphasize empathy 
problem solving and proactive service could empower crew members to anticipate and fulfill guests needs we're not asking for the end of the world here we're just asking for people to be nice and to communicate and listen communication is key on any voyages and this is where msc cruisers really really fail they need to take it up a notch by enhancing communication channels between passengers and crew members and crew members and the company as well on several occasions we've encountered crew members who seemed completely unfamiliar with their roles and lacked basic knowledge about the ship's layout activities and events and just had no idea whatsoever maybe it goes back to recruitment like we said choosing the right people in customer service roles people who want to help people rather than just mourn at them and not be very nice Maybe looking at why crew are so rude in some scenarios. Is there underlying problems with managers on board? Working hours? Pay? Things like that? Why do so many crew have an attitude problem on MSC cruises? Let's move on to the second major issue. Entertainment. The current offerings are just, well, meh underwhelming it's important to note that unlike major american cruise lines msc does cater for a more diverse international crowd encompassing various cultures languages and nationalities so it is going to make it harder for them than other cruise lines consequently providing universally appealing entertainment poses a challenge due to the varying preferences of different people from different places however the overall entertainment experience feels lackluster with lots of repetitiveness and a lack of inspiration it would be just delightful to witness grand production shows featuring universally recognized songs there are so many of them perhaps even a broadway or west end musical especially on those sailings from the uk or the usa and caribbean the theaters on board mse cruise ships are more than capable of putting on and staging such great productions unfortunately most of the shows that we've seen include pretty boring content they exhibit subpar choreography and features singers whose dictation is just unclear resulting in an overall unsatisfying experience considering language barriers opting for elaborate musical performances might be a more viable route compared to say comedy acts collaborating with established production companies as well there are so many production companies who provide entertainment all ready for cruise lines they specialize in cruise line entertainment so why don't they work with one of these companies and give the entertainment a much needed upgrade msc cruises is becoming more and more marketed to the uk and usa markets so these sailings we should expect better entertainment a lot of people will argue well it's just for people from italy and spain but it isn't they absolutely market to us so we expect a certain amount of entertainment in a certain style like we see on other big cruise lines if they didn't market towards us we'd have nothing to complain about because we just have to accept that's what it's like but even things like the costumes and sets just look cheap and rushed and not thought about we would love to see more time and effort placed into better shows and entertainment around the ships and like we said why not just work with one of the many production companies who already have entertainment in place for cruise lines and it's not just the theater based activities as well there is a general lack of entertainment just about everywhere with very few organized activities and things to do there's very few game shows little to no trivia that sort of thing which is such a shame so there's nothing really to fill your day if you decide not to get off the ship or you have a sea day now finally we arrive at the most significant issue the culinary experience it's a mixed bag leaning more towards disappointment for me the lack of consistency stands out prominently to clarify not all of the food is subpar but in comparison with other cruise lines i just feel it falls really short while mediterranean and italian cuisines are the staples on msc cruises they often arrive cold stodgy messy and just poorly presented yes you can get a half decent pizza from the buffet but we really do need more than that the overall selection is just so uninspired in the buffet the buffet in general is the same every single day with just minor changes and most of it is just pretty meh and bland considering all of the excellent european and italian cuisine there is there's such an immense potential to create fresh flavorful uncomplicated simple dishes unfortunately 
you see odd combinations such as Asian rice with olives, beetroot risotto resembling unappetizing matter, vomit, mussel pot pie, and aged looking salmon pasta. It's just not right. The, the selections are just odd. These peculiar choices fail to resonate particularly with passengers hailing from the UK or North America. Like I said, if they're going to aim towards these passengers, they have to provide food that satisfies them. There's a yearning for increased creativity. It's just puzzling to why MSC Cruises resists making changes in this regard, there are so, so many complaints going back five, ten years. We just don't understand why they just don't change. Now, although the specialty restaurants offer some really good meals, passengers should not be required to pay for extra food, just satisfactory food. The main dining room presents the most significant issues with instances of undercooked and bland dishes. In conclusion, Whilst we do respect those who have had positive MSC cruise experiences, it is essential to acknowledging different viewpoints. But guys, numerous online reviews echo similar sentiments to mine. I genuinely hope for MSC cruises to make changes and enhancements. We firmly believe that they possess the potential to evolve into a really, really good cruise line. As I said, the ships are so, so lovely. The infrastructure is all there. Just please, please, please fix these three things and it could just be so much better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this episode and it gave some value to you. If it did, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps us out. A big thank you to our patrons as well. Well, what's a patron? Well, you give us a little bit of money every single month, which we put back straight into the channel to create extra videos cruises and things like that and we really do put every penny back into it but in return we give you ad free access to our videos so no annoying ads early access to our videos so you see them before everybody else we also give behind the scenes episodes and extra footage and things like that as well as a monthly zoom call where we get to talk to you all so i guess that's it <laughs> see you next time